Right, okay, hitting issue 33 now, and uh, now this is quite interesting. So we're going to get what looks like a proper character for the Stormcast, a Knight Judicator, um, who's got a couple of um, little pet, pet griffin, what are they called, griff, griff, griff hounds, and he looks, you know, quite a cool pose, actually, um, very long bow no doubt about that long range bow um and again a couple of pets to basically harass any enemies who get too close uh quite an interesting cover as well with the worshipper of corn on the front it's definitely corn that or the red and the axes and the, that, that helmet design is just screams corn eight and heading inside the issue, we are looking at the Blades of Corn, and it's a discussion about them, talking about, you know, that, that area of chaos. Um, you know, the corn, the blood god, is just absolutely an amazing thing, really. There's no doubt about that. Um, talking about the different types of troops you'll find within the uh, Corn 8 ranks. I think if I were actually to create getting myself a chaos army in age of sigma corn is undoubtedly the thing that i would be drawn towards because i just love the kind of wholesale scale slaughter that they bring around <laughs> there's no other way to put it so yeah uh, what else have we got then um oh now that again some interesting stuff um a little about carrying empire it's described as being now uh, Let's have a look. Mm. So, so that's like it's talking about Skaven versus the Flesh Eater Courts, with Skaven being the Rat Men, which is actually one of the next delivery. I'm going to get a special issue with a Warlock, uh, Skaven Warp, Warp Engineer, I think it is, or Warp Block Engineer, something like that. Um, Skaven are always awesome. I used to have a Skaven army in Warhammer Fantasy. It was quite a big Skaven army. Again, long gone, unfortunately. So I'll be interesting again to see some proper Skaven stuff. Flesh Eater Courts, I like the look of as well because they're undead. My son has a few of the, um, what are they called, Night Haunts. So I love undead stuff as well. And my son likes the undead as well, which is quite cool. So yeah, it's actually it's nice um, to actually see a little bit. You know, I like reading about fluff for the models that we're not getting in this. So if they ever do another thing like Stormbringer, I am probably going to snap a, snap up to do it, even if it means more Stormcasts, because I'll get whatever that next force is. So you know, I think it's definitely worth worth it, worth it this Stormbringer. And I think I'm definitely going to do it next time. Um, whether or not I'll do Stormbringer over a 40k one, I don't know. Uh, Warhammer Sigma or whatever, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, the Knight Judicator. So it looks quite tough this thing. Um, and again, it's very specifically a ranged fighter. So they designed to stay back, but. They have their guard grips, which is obviously important. Yeah, so they got two griff hounds as defense. How to build? Oh, push fit model. So as you know, I'm a bit mm, on sometimes on push fit models. I hope this is going to be an easy push fit model without any gaps or anything. But we shall see how it goes. Uh, let's have a look what we got here. So a little bit on painting as always. All right, um, order tactics, a little bit more about the Knight Arcanum. So we got the Knight Arcanum in issue one, but it was actually a very long time before we actually learned anything about magic or anything like that, really. So again, talking about tactics with, you know, some of the sorcerers, it's really drilling into magic in the last few issues and all of the kind of tactics and rules. A uh, little bit about the Lord Imperitant again, uh, talks about, um, you know, basically what they're strong on, what they're weak on and what you should do with them. So quite an interesting 
uh, creature. The Knight Judicator's rules look quite cool as well. They've got quite a good ranged attack, you know, 30 inch range. So they've got the range that you need. And they've also got a few cool little special rules as well, which I need to read up on a bit more. I love the pattern that they've done actually on this, you know, this Judicator's Griff. Griff Hounds, Tiger Pattern, I, I, I kind of want to replicate that, I like the look of it. I haven't decided what colour to do my, my Griff Hounds yet, and I kind of feel that I want them to all match rather than be different colours. So I think that's going to probably work well if I pick a pattern and go with it. Okay, Pitch Battle, um, Heads You Lose, uh, let's have a look. So it's the Judicator versus the Kill Boss as the main ones, you've got the... Knight Arcanum, the Swamp Shai, the Swamp Caller Shaman, along with Zarbag. So we've got quite a bit of magic going on in that battle. Okay, uh, now we've also got a little add-on here. Which is this thing, so let's have a look. Domain of the Dark Gods. Ooh, some lovely stuff. You know, one of these lovely pull-outs. And this one's entirely about the wonder of chaos. Yeah. From, you know, you've got Nurgle, Slanesh, Sneech, uh, Sneech, yeah, Sneeches, and Corn, and all, all the different kind of um, how those individually work, which is quite cool. So you've got, you know, Corn, the Blood God, Sneech, who they've got, got a change of plot. You've got Nurgle. God of Plague and Decay, and Slanesh, the God S, I suppose, <laughs> of um, hedonism and excess, which I really love. So, you know, got a nice little pull out there talking about them. And then let's let's have a look at the kit as well. Just, you know, because although it's because it's a push fit, you can pretty much guarantee that it's a one, you know, one size fits all approach. But I don't want to just say that and be wrong. So let's have a look here. So quite a, you know, a large miniature. You can see the bow is huge. So it's like a proper, you know, heavy duty long bow. Oh, uh, looking at this. Yep. It is exactly as it appears. It is a, you know, single model type. Um, the Griff charges are nice looking. Looks like it's just kind of like one head, you know, for everything though. So it's it, it is very much a one way to build it. Now that'll make it quick with any look. However, oh, hang on. Oh no, uh, we do have an option. We have a head option. <laughs> we have an option of heads. So that is an option. The both, yeah, the both masks heads by the look of it but one's got a kind of um a plume rolling out a horse like a horsetail plume where the other one's got a more of a roman brush tuft or whatever that's called so there we go there we are issue 33 oh, almost done looking good um i said the the model's quite cool um but you know, you've probably noticed by now, I get more excited about um, Oryx uh, and Grots and things than I do about the Stonecast. That's just the way I am. Okay then, so please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.